Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice math problem involving square roots? To find the value of x, let's use two methods. The first method here, we have what is given here is x root x. Then we have root x again. So, and uh, is equals to 3. From here, let's square both sides. So, we take the square on this side. And also take the square on this side. Then this square will affect x and we also affect this square root. So we have here s squared times square root of x, then root x now square equals to here we still have 3 square here. Then in the next step, we can say this square cancel this square root. And this gives us x squared now, then times x root x equals to 3 squared. Then from the law of indices, this is x raised to power 1. And when we have this power now, that's x raised to power 3, then times root x. Now equals to 3 squared from here. The next we can also square again, square both sides again. Then, here, yeah, this square also will affect x raised to power 3 and root x. So we have x raised to power 3, then square, then root x square as well. Then from here, this is equal to this power multiplies, and this gives us 3 raised to power 4. And next, this gives us also this multiply, this gives us x raised to the power 6, then times here, square cancel square root, and this is simply x, which is equal to 3 over 4. And from here, this x raised to the power 1. Also, we can have the power, and this becomes x raised to the power 7 equals to 3 raised to the power 4. Then from here, we can raise both sides to 1 over 7 in order to remove this 7. So we have raised to power 1 over 7 or here, and also raised to power 1 over 7 here. So this 7 will cancel this 7, and we have x now equals to 3 raised to power 4 over 7. So here we have the value of x from here. Then to use another method here, the method 2, from what we are given here, we can separate this and this same thing as x multiplied by root x, then multiply by this x contains two roots, that's root, then root x, and uh, equals to 3 here, and here we have x times x raised to power half, then times x raised to power half, also raised to power half, we have two of it, then equals to 3, then in the next step, this can be written as x, which is x now, times x raised to power half, times x raised to power 1 over 4, then equals to 3 from here, and this x raised to power 1. And from here, we have seen this. We can hack the power from the law of indices. That's 1 plus half plus 1 over 4 and equals to 3 here. And when we bring this, you know, fraction together, so this is x raised to power SEMEST4. So 1 going 4, that's 4 times 1, that's 4 plus 2 going 4, 2 times 1, that's 2, then plus 4 going 4, 1, 1 times 1, that's the 1, equals to 3 from here. Then next, this same thing as x raised to power, here we have 7 over 4, which is equals to 3 on this side. Then to remove this power of 7 over 4, we can take the reciprocal and multiply with the power with it, which is 7 over 4 now. Also, we multiply that on this side, 7 over 4, and this we cancel out here. 
Sorry, please. The reciprocal here is 4 over 7 or 7 over 4. So we have 4 over 7. And uh, we multiply by 4 over 7. So this cancel out here. Then we have x left here, which is equal to 3 raised to the power 4 over 7. And uh, which is the same thing we got from the first method. And here, yeah, let's check if this satisfies the given problem. From what we have, which is x root x root x equals to 3. Now, from here, let's substitute the value of x, which is 3 raised to power 4 over 7 times square root of 3 raised to the power 4 over 7 then square root of 3 raised to the power 4 over 7 if this equals to 3 from here then when we solve this yes square root means raised to the power half so we can write this as 3 raised to the power 4 over 7 then square root of 3 raised to the power 4 over 7 then times 3 raised to the power 4 over 7 then which is raised to the power half from this square root plus raised to the power then 2 here 1, 2 here 2 so this remains 3 raised to the power 2 over 7 here so from this we now have 3 raised to the power 4 over 7 times square root of 3 raised to the power 4 over 7 then times 3 raised to the power 2 over 7 and from the law of indices, we can bring this together, take one base and add the power. So is this equal to 3 from here? Then when we sum this power, this is 6 over 7. So that's 3 raised to the power 4 over 7 times square root of 3 raised to the power 6 over 7. Is this giving us 3 from here? Then also we can apply this square root and raise it to the power half. So this will become 3 raised to the power 4 over 7 multiplied by 3 raised to the power 4 over 7 times 3 raised to the power 6 over 7 raised to the power half now. Is this equal to 3? Then from here, this 2 will go in 6. 2 here 1, 2 here 3. So we have 3 raised to the power 3 over 7 left. So we have 3 raised to the power 4 over 7 now. Times 3 raised to the power 3 over 7. Is this equal to 3 from here? Then next, also we have seen this. We can add the power. So 4 over 7 plus 3 over 7. This is 3 raised to the power 7 over 7. Is this equal to 3? And from here, this 7 over 7 is 1, 3 raised to the power 1, is it equal to 3? Of course, 3 raised to the power 1 is 3, which is equal to 3. Left hand side equals to the right hand side. And hence, from the two method, what we got here, which is x equals to 3 raised to the power 4 over 7, satisfies this given problem. Thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more exciting videos. See you next class. Bye. Come on.